Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching this sorceress picture. Now this picture is pretty big on the internet, everyone loves the written tutorial. So if we go and jump over to the written tutorial. Now this tutorial gives you the resources to create this image which is three pictures and two uh, brushes, two brush sets sorry. And but the only problem uh, with this image, it was created ages ago and it was done in Photoshop CS2. Now I have plenty of things changed since then and people, you know, uh, don't know what they're doing with this picture. So I thought I'd create a video tutorial for them. So first things first, let's go and jump into the actual picture itself. So what we're going to be doing now is going to create a new canvas. So go to File, go to New. And this is what we're going to be working on is the width is going to be 2480 2480 pixels height is going to be 3508 3508 pixels resolution is going to be 300 color is going to be rgb color and 8 bit the background content is going to be transparent and we're going to name this background and then click ok now once you've done that we're going to be going to work on our actual image so go to the place where you save the images to I saved it in one big folder because then it's easier and you don't get lost we're going to be working on the misty forest stock image now drag and drop that into our canvas now it's already selected it and put on the free transform tool then we're going to drag this to the same width and height as our canvas and then click the tick icon in the top right now once you've done that, now there is a problem with the written tutorial as I just noticed. Now what it doesn't say is that it's been cropped and many people have gone, you know, what the hell's going on, you know, it doesn't look exactly like it. Now I see what's happened and this is a resolution so we're going to go and right click our layer, we're going to go press rasterize layer and we're just going to go and crop. So we're going to go to the crop tool to the top right hand side drag down and we're just going to go from this tree right here so just drag out a bit so you'll have these two little trees well three little trees right here that's all we need and then click the tick icon once you've done that now I know what you're thinking the layer is gone small and we need a bigger layer so we're going to go to file and new again now we don't need to put in the settings again because it's already been saved for us. So we're going to go click OK. We're going to go back to what we was working on. Click the move tool which is at the top left hand side. We're going to drag this over to our actual new canvas. And there we go. And then we're going to press Ctrl and T to free transform. And just bring this out to the size of it and then click the tick icon. Now that is looking a lot better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and blur it. Now we have a basically a free layer underneath our actual image which we don't actually want. So we're going to drag that layer to the top and we're going to name the picture background. Now once you've done that we're going to go to filter we're going to go to blur and lens blur now my settings are already in so if you can see the settings put them in it's faster checked on source none um, iris octagon 8 radius 64 blade coverage 0 rotation 0 brightness 0 threshold 255 255 noise amount 0 and gaussian checked on click ok now give it some time to adjust itself depending on how fast your computer and how much it's got going on it does take a little while obviously my computer is obviously taking a while because it's got too much to do it's got too many things open now once it's done that we're going to be working on the brush um, side of things so go click your brush make sure that you've got that new layer layer 1 selected I'm going to change that layer name to light 1 and we're going to go to the top select our brush you want to select a soft brush so around there that one right do soft rounded 
pressure opacity which is the that one click that size is going to be 500 pixels hardness 0 opacity 50 and flow 100 percent and we're going to go and change our color foreground color right there and that code is that you need to enter is going to be f f f f d b which is like a pale cream color now it's on to the next step Now the next step is we're going to be painting the actual picture. Now we're going to be painting some light to create some um, atmosphere to the actual subject we're going to actually put into the actual image. So we're going to paint just in between these two blurred out trees right here. Just go very lightly. Like that. And then we're going to go back up to the brush settings. We're going to change the 500 to 900. Uh, the hardness is going to be set to zero, opacity 50% and flow 100. So basically all the same again. And we're going to go and create a new blank layer. You can do that by going to the new I blank layer icon at the bottom right hand side, clicking that. We're going to name this layer Light 2. Now make sure that you've got that selected and then we're just going to paint the top part of this so just go out over the top like that so create some mist now the next thing to do is create a new blank layer and name that light free then we're going to go back up to the top we're going to change 900 to 800. Passive is going to, uh, sorry, the high, the, the hardness, sorry, getting more words mixed up there, um, is going to be zero. The opacity 50%, flow 100% uh, again, and then we're going to go and click that and you want to make sure that you go and paint in between these trees again like that and then we're going to go and make a new layer and this one's going to be called darken bg1 make sure you've got that selected we're going to change the color to zero 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 so six zeros click OK we're going to change the brush size to from 800 to 700 the the hardness sorry is going to be zero the opacity is going to be 25 so bring that down to 25 and the flow is going to be set to um, 100 again and then we're just going to paint a bit of uh, of the dark just at the top like that and then once you've done that we're going to go and select all of the layers by holding down control and selecting all the layers and then we're going to hit control and G and that makes a group folder and we're going to name that by double clicking the uh, name and we're going to name that background like so and the next thing we're going to do is go back to our folder where all our images are we're going to select the black magic 22 drag and drop you don't want to drop it into the image you want to drop it out to the top where it's and then when it comes up it'll say more drag and drop there the next thing is we're going to be wanting to select this actual woman right here now to do that you want to go and select the poly polygonal um lasso lasso tool sorry i can't say that right and you want to start from the bottom of her cape just here and then just follow up and 
and it should go to her actual cape and her hands now you can do this a number of ways you can even do it with a pen tool um, just do it the way you want you can even find other different tutorials online now this is quite fast so I'm just going to do this very roughly uh, because I don't have that much time because YouTube only give me so long to do this so just go all the way down her cape like that and back to where we started now once you've done that you're going to go and select the move tool and drag and drop her into the actual image Control and T to free transform drop her into the bottom right hand corner and drag her up now you want her somewhere around there if you can see that it's uh, really on your taste at the time so you need to make that accurate and then click the tick icon now we're going to name this uh, layer Sorceress so let's name that Now once you've done that, it's on to the next part. 